Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays, European Universalis 4. So, last episode, we decided that we were going to pick over the rotting carcass that is Castile and seize La Plata from them. This was a grand uh, colony of theirs that was granted its independence when Castile fell from grace and was blasted off the face of Europe. France, Morocco, and I don't know, well, France and Morocco basically just gobbled up what was Castile. So we're going to take advantage of this situation. We already have Sokolovin, uh Brazil, and we're going to try to get Sokolovin Rio de la Plata or Panagodia. Let's see what happens. But basically, uh, what, what's what's going on here is that this is up for the this is an independent nation, so we can do what we want with them at the moment, and we are going to take them, take them down. We are at 99% war score, so we can pretty much get everything we want from them, but I kind of want to get up to... Should we bother getting it up? Let's get it up to 100. I feel like we should get it up to 100. It'll take a couple extra months, another year or something like that of warfare, but uh, I think it'll be worth it. Will it be worth it? Well, let's see if we can get what we want out of this right now. Uh, we cannot demand tribute that requires more than 100% or that would require 134% or score for them to be a vassal of ours. So what we'd be working with is there's nothing else between them seeding us stuff and that basically. We can't... Nope, there's nothing else here. So, uh, we're going to have them start seeding off provinces. Uh, we, ha we don't have a lot of admin power right now, which is problematic. Thankfully, this doesn't... Well, we could basically take most everything. There we go. That's 99 right there. All right, so we're going to send that off. We're going to gobble up as much of La Plata as we can, and then we'll deal with the repercussions of taking that much land later. Decline that. Now, uh, Sokolov and La Plata. Is this... This, this, is, this is just straight up my land, correct? Sokolov, yeah, because it's not an independent nation. Which is kind of what I wanted from it, but it doesn't look like that's a... That doesn't look like that's a thing I can do. Unfortunately, um, and to my knowledge, there's not any that overextension only counted for well, very little. Basically, it doesn't count for anything. Probably because it's all territory. Yeah, probably because it's all territory. So, hmm. I guess for now, we just come over here and sit on this. Uh, that should have given us... I'm going to decline that. Right now, it's all being sent... It looks like it's all being sent up this way, and I'm collecting right here, so that's fine by me. Well, that'll go away and balance back out. Spells of War plus under and two. There we go. All right. So most of La Plata, we, we just gobbled up. Yep, England definitely doesn't like me. Hmm. I thought from here down, it would actually turn into a different colony. I guess not. Can I, can I give any of this stuff to these guys? They have a well, they have a liberty desire of two percent because because of relative power. They can take these two. I'm not gonna do that though. I think they're kind of big enough as it is. So what we're gonna start doing is just, just 
Just make our way down. Start taking care of this stuff. Uh, trade dispute against the English West Indies. Okay, that's fine. Does it say West or East Indies? I don't actually know. But we, we've taken very large parts of South American coastline. I'm pretty stoked about that. That was that that war cost me a lot of power points. Persia announced me as a rival. Cost me a lot of power points, but it got me a lot of land. And we're transferring trade power out of here now, which I like. 1,111 months. That is a long time. Uh, I don't think that there's anybody in here who's going to change that. Prestige, nope. Nobody in there. Love somebody. I, I, I need to get my stability modifier up or I need somebody uh, with the 2% conversion bonus. Culture conversions are going. Uh, Ethiopian separatist, I'm not worried about. The Lapotan ones could be problematic though because you know what we're going to do for this area down here? We're gonna take. We're, we're, we're gonna eat this basically, because uh, I don't think a, a major revolt could erupt down there, and I don't have the military to take care of it. I don't think I can give this stuff to a trade company. Native uprising, uh, right up here. So let's go over here, take care of that. Another idea to work with. Cavalry combat ability, good for me. And not gonna start. Not gonna do this. There's so much stuff to convert now. Is the problem. I didn't wasn't thinking of doing religious ideas. Now I'm thinking religious ideas might be something I need to do because I wasn't planning on doing taking this much shit. But now that I have it, now that I have it, I gotta do something about this. We took the, those two wars between Portugal and uh, La Plata, former Castilian La Plata. We gained a ton of land, a ton. It's got to take a while for it to start being profitable, but we it's still a lot. Still a lot. 100% of the ducats stays in Zanzibar. What's it worth now? 14? That was more than that. So a lot's getting pushed towards this way and then pushed down. That's good for me. I could really use more trade power right over here. Is what I could use. Which we need more ships over there. Uh, what is it? What am I at force limit wise? 101. We could we could we could deal with that. Excellent minister. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yeah. Stability, prestige, and admin. Take it. 100. That's still a long time. That should have taken care of uh, a lot of this problem, though. Yeah, basically. Not terribly concerned about Ethiopian separatists. That's... Uh, whoop, went too far. Went too far. That's way up here. Can we turn any new... Well, I don't know. Well, we should probably finish doing this first. Before we start working on um, more states slash territories. So I'm starting to, you know, catch the ire of Europe. England and France. Russia's powerful. The Ottomans and the Persians are still powerful. Uh, Bohemia. Hungary looks like it shrank down. Savoy got pretty big. Brandenburg's pretty big. Lubeck got squished off into the islands here. Into the sound. And I think we almost have enough for that last one. Uruguay. Buana? Maku? Kawaii. 
Started uh, providing advice to the trade of the South. However, internal trade has been strengthened. Cost of curtailed imports increased state regulation. While this decision to improve infrastructure has been appreciated, recent suggestions caused many influential people to question their philosophy. They argue that the high chief is making blah, 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 blah. That guy taking his advice too readily more mutually beneficial deals. So, gain mercantilism, lose legitimacy. Two, legitim two mercantilism is huge. I will take that. For 10 legitimacy, when I'm getting legitimacy left and right, you know, I get plenty of legitimacy. I've never been a problem. That I will take any day of the week. Can't remember the last... I don't think I've ever had a playthrough where legitimacy was just a currency I could throw around left and right. So, right now, uh, what we could do to save ourselves money is drag the ma army maintenance slider down. We don't need that up as high as it, need it, as it was. Uh, corruption, we're only, uh, we pay f point half, half a gold a month, really. What is that coming from? Religious overextension is a little bit of it, but it's mostly the religious unity thing. Uh, so, that is a problem, which means the next idea we take is probably going to have to be religious ones. I wasn't planning on ever doing that, but I also wasn't planning on grabbing this much land, so. Alright, so we'll uh, head down there, take care of them. Did they go away? Why is that? That's weird. It's not a co No, it is a colony. That is technically a colony, isn't it? The problem is, is it's going to be Castilian. Let's abandon it. It's not worth it. Uh, and... Ooh, new colonial nation. Okay, so this whole thing turned into a colonial nation. Good. That's exactly what I wanted. Tariffs on naval supplies... Uh, tariff value, yes, I will take that. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted was another colonial nation down here. Perfect. So I just had to core that stuff. Then once it was cored, it turned into a colonial nation. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, so first things first, we are going to relations, improve relations. These guys, are we already improving relations with you? No, improve relations here as well. Good. Ethiopian separatists. So that's got to be up here. There's a little bit of problem. Yeah. That's a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Religious uh, intolerance. Okay, so there is a... Let's take our, our army and march them up there. Uh, hopefully I can get up there before anything bad happens. That's so... It's Yeah, it's so long right now. We're working with very low percentages. Tyrannical nobles, that's unfortunate. I'm not going to take the loss of a base tax. That's basically taking a power point hit. Alrighty, nice. So, uh, I'm not sure if I want to make Sokolov in Brazil any bigger. I don't know if I want to make Sokolov and La Plata any bigger. They are rather large colonial nations. Brazil already does have a small desire for liberty. And they're sending me money. I love the fact that they're sending me money. Customize. These tariffs like they look at the ruler. No. No, we're not going to do anything. We're just going to just going to let them marinate down there. That's what I wanted. I wanted a like semi-autonomous uh, states across South America there. Uh, you guys do your thing. Over there, you have your own military, you have your own leaders. But you just send me a little bit of money every once in a while and we'll be cool. Alright, so I think I'm going to take this this time. I mean, we burned through, we did basically just burned through those points last time. And it cost us nothing. No, and we were right back to where we were for. Nobody, where we were before. Nobody caught up to us or anything like that. Or sprinted ahead of us, I'm, I mean to say. This is going to give us Grand Shipyards, War Galley, 
or galleon uh, frigates, naval maintenance, and colonial range. Let's see, our armies are moving on up here. I think we want to stop here. Nope. Is it further up? Ethiopia? Here? So it's this one and this one. That one. And hopefully we'll be able to squish that down before anything happens. Uh, the house is shaken. So understand over there, uh, heritage of the great grandmother. So you deny it fervently or acknowledge the fact. Uh, we're just gonna take the hit to legitimacy because we gain that back super easy, like. All right, let's see if we can squish down that unrest enough. No, not really. 1.1 years, 1.3 years. Uh, a reform has been revoked. Oh. I must say, what does this have to do with me? What does that have to do with me? Basically nothing. I'm not a member of the Holy Roman Empire. So I don't care. Frankly, I was thinking about taking out po uh, a land invasion of Portugal. But that might, you know, bring the ire of... France, and I'm not sure if I really want to go head-to-head -head with France in Europe. So this should decay. If I'm lucky, this will decay out, and I won't have to actually deal with it. Let's see. At the end of the year... Okay, yeah. We should be fine. There's a basically a 5% chance every month of, it, a month of it hitting. If we're lucky, it won't ever hit. Morale of navies, global tariffs, spy construction, better relations over time. Again, why don't we take another peek in here, make sure... No, no, nobody knew. Hmm. 13 gold per month, and I'm at 17. Uh, I think we're just going to take the cheapest one, because I definitely want to work on uh, building up in my nation. There's a lot of stuff I want to build. Alright, we're going to build a spy network down here. So I want to I kind of want to take out the whole... I want, I want to link up the coastline. Yeah, a lot of these, like a territory... Marque... Mascarenas? What is that? Uh, so this is all one. So we could easily grant this statehood. That'd be good for us, actually. And then core all that. So those three islands, there's one state. I own the whole state. So perfectly uh, feasible to turn that into a territory. It's actually or from a territory into the state is what I mean. Uh, that's perfectly feasible. Let's do a little bit of construction. By construction, let's... Um, do another run of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Gotta make sure the dog's not chewing on the cord to my damn microphone. She already destroyed my wireless mouse. Well, as long as I can get a new power cord for the charging station. She didn't destroy it, because I've only had that thing since December. It would be a shame if it was gone. Durability. Uh, where are we in terms of tech? We're okay. We're okay in terms of tech. So, uh, we're going to keep going in. Pets. There we go. Durability. Our, our royal marriage ended with these guys, which is great for us, because we want to take some of their land. Right, alliance breaking. Worth keeping, and we'll end it soon. We're songly. Uh, that's not a big deal. Don't really, uh, don't really care about that too much. Nope, we're gonna, we're gonna ignore that. And culture. Oh, okay. And that was some culture conversion. So that would be political map, culture. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We knocked out an entire culture, basically, and this area became um, 
uh, the same culture as me. And Swahili is accepted. Thought Somali was accepted too. Yeah. All right, Somali has fallen below the 20% threshold. Hmm. So as long as it doesn't decay down below 10%, we're fine still. You get a little wiggle room if you've are, if you're already accepted. I'm glad that this is all a colonial nation. That's exactly what I want. I basically want to dis absorb the Castilian colonial nation. Uh, these guys, I don't care what they do. Couldn't care less. Now we do have a uh, free colonist now that we could continue on with if we if we so choose. Uh, and the, honestly, what I'm thinking was thinking about doing is trying to get uh, trade power up, going up over here. Hmm. Could we go to Australia? Is it no? It's too far. Well, Australia is too far away. Actually, all this is too far away. Hmm. So that would leave us in here. So let's... Should we... Should we sit on this, though? At least until the end of the year. It should decay out again. Let's see here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, um, all those ships are, are building. They're 1.9 years. Okay, now there's only a 4.2% chance of it hitting. So, we'll just sit on it for now. Because we need guards, but right now they're busy. That's 18 new light ships. These guys are going to go over to India, I think. So, do... Is having a leader in here worth it? Alright, sorry about that again. Dog chewing on cords is never a good thing. Alright, so. Let's select mission. Tech trade. We sort by income. Right, sort by income. The income here? There's a merchant here. How can we send it to Zanzibar? Isn't Zanzibar... No, that's me. I was like, isn't Zanzibar completely encased? No, it's not. Um, we're talking about sending it here. Oh, they're using their trade power to transport zero forward? Their merchant gives two trade power? I have a merchant there. Um, it's right there. I think something's messed up with this. Either I'm missing something or something's messed up here because it keeps, like, it shows it moving one way. It shows it moving this way. But when you click on it, it says it's, oh, now it says it is moving towards the Gulf of Aden. Didn't say that before. Ooh, what do we got? The, no any one guns in pirate hunting and zero guns privateering. The penalty of privateering this. So nobody can pri... This node's so valuable, everybody's hunting pirates here. Where are... Here's our ships. They just arrived. Do we already have those 44 over here? Hmm. Or was it this fleet? What is his mission? Does it say? Protecting trade in this one. So, that adding 18 ships did nothing? How do I only have 4% of the... All right, I'm confused. I, I'm I'm I, I'm never gonna understand this. I'm convinced I'm never going to understand it. It's 
So, select mission. Protect trade. How do I have no power here? Send. Were they in the wrong one? Hmm. Whatever. I'm terrible with trade stuff. I don't. I, at first, I, at first, I'll think I'll have a, I'll, I'll have a hang on what's going on. And ooh, I have another free merchant. Where'd he come from? Um. Well, I got seven merchants now. Like, it said it would add hundreds of power to this node, but it doesn't. Is it is it telling me that it's all, all that power is being applied in this, is applying 16 power in this direction? Don't get it. Do not get it. Alright, so... Where are all my... We got merchants everywhere now. We're collecting here. And right now, it's... Uh, it looks like everything's getting pushed up already. Yeah, it's all getting pushed up there. Well, most of it, at least. So where's left to go? We could have stuff from... No, we don't have any power there. We don't have any power in Ethiopia. I guess what we could do is... Transfer our trade power from here. Downstream. I always for for a split second I'll think I'll have the handle of the the minutia of trade, and then something will happen and I'll be like, no, no, I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. It's like you. What is your mission? Gulf of Aden. And you protecting trading. So why is this guy not adding his trade power? Is it because I don't have any actual land over here or something like that? Transferring trade power. Moving it down this way. Looks like it's mostly getting collected here. It's moved up there. A little bit gets moved there. A little bit gets moved there. It must be all getting collected for the most part. Not much of is not much is outgoing. Hmm. One of these days, I'll get the handle on it. One of these days. Or one of these days, somebody will uh, inform me exactly how it works. I mean, I've tried reading about it on the internet, but never seem to get the hang of it. Oh, those are my transports. Heavies. Just kind of sitting there. We can upgrade them. 150. Oof. The galleons. Upgrade these guys to merchantmen. Alright. Alright, so I think we're going to leave it right here. If you have enjoyed this, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Europa Universalis 4, just subscribe to this channel and I will see you guys next time.